Well, we begin with new details about the suspect in the Texas mall mass shooting, raising new questions about whether warning signs were missed. An online profile appearing to belong to the 33-year-old shows he may have been scouting the mall for a year. Our Ike Ajachi joins me now from the scene in Allen, Texas. Ike, what's the latest on the victims here? Well, Diane, overnight, authorities releasing the names of all the victims in this senseless tragedy. Three members of the Cho family, including a three-year-old, were shot and killed right here at this senseless tragedy. Also, two elementary school-aged sisters, fourth grader Daniela Mendoza and second grader Sofia Mendoza, who were described as rays of sunshine. Now, their mother, Ilda Mendoza, is still in critical condition in an area hospital, and she is one of the six individuals still at hospitals around this area. Three are in critical condition, two are in fair condition, and one is in good condition. And we now know that activists are blaming Texas state lawmakers of inaction. Diane. Now, th there's a lot of focus on the suspect's social media, Ike. What's raising red flags there? Well, investigators have been combing through Garcia's social media, and what they have found are posts that are likening things like neo-Nazi material, racism, anti-Semitism, and even hatred against women. Now, they also found favorable responses to previous mass shootings, like the one in Nashville's Covenant School back in March that claimed the lives of six individuals, Diane. All right, Ike Jachi in Allen, Texas, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.